check us out. We at the San Fran Golden Gate Bridge. First time out here with my man Amir. <laughs> we doing this for Notre Dame. We come all the way across the country to get some training and to get ready for the 2015 season. Being out here on a kind of a leisure trip and also a business trip, just, you know, building a connection. You know, me and Malik are close friends and, you know, just building our friendship off the field and then on the field, just building that chemistry and building that timing. So, you know, kind of killing two birds with one stone. Look, look, you be swimming. I want to go cold. It's always good to have somebody real close to you, not only on your team, but in, in, as in your friend group to come out here and be able to experience something outside of just those those white lines in the football field. So you're gonna boogie, you gonna boogie, you wanna feel how cold it is too? You just gotta, I don't know, you gotta, bro, it's really not that cold. This is definitely the emphasis of the trip was to have team chemistry. And for us to have that team chemistry on point, I think, you know, if we can develop that here, we can develop that anywhere. Put another stamp for Notre Dame on San Francisco to go on Gate Bridge. We're putting our flag right on it. Greatest coaches of all time, one of the greatest Notre Dame quarterbacks of all time, Joe Montana. His story definitely inspires me, not only because he, I'm following the same footsteps as he is, but he was, he did it with such grace that I think that that's second to none, and that's where, he, that's what made him who he was. He's on everything at Notre Dame, so if you make it on the walls at Notre Dame, you're there forever, and I think that's just something that goes with his legacy. I can only hope to follow the same kind of path as he did, not only at Notre Dame, but uh, make NFL history like he did too. The leadership, I think, is what stands out to me most, and uh, that's something I take a lot of note from because, you know, without leaders, it's hard to steer the ship. And he definitely was the captain of the ship, so the man uh, definitely did, knew what he was doing, did a good job. All right, we gotta do this, guys. We got North 62, choice, on one, on one, ready? Steve Young, one of the greatest lefty quarterbacks ever. The man, I gotta take a picture with him. I gotta know my history and uh, the lefty history especially, so Steve Young is like the page one, chapter one to learn from. He the man. 206 touchdowns, you know how many passes he must have thrown to get there? One cool piece that you'll see is this helmet that was worn by the 1946 team. And that team was coached by uh, Buck Shaw, who played at Notre Dame under Newt Rockney. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Way back in the day. And Notre Dame and San Fran has a, a nice mm -hmm. connection, nice yeah. time. Yeah, that just shows how much Notre Dame is everywhere. And I think that the, the tradition that Notre Dame carries is something that you carry with the rest of your life and it's, it it's greatness. And you see it in the Hall of Fame and stuff like this. So I think that's pretty special, for sure. Golden Dome is all around this place. Can't speak enough of the players and the people that have been through Notre Dame and have seen and experienced what real tradition is. And when you come to, from tradition and to another organization full of tradition like the 49ers, it's kind of synonymous and it's hard to get away from it. So it only instills and continues greatness. So this is like football heaven at its peak, you know? I think that's like the ultimate goal. If you can reach the pinnacle of football by winning Super Bowls, especially multiple Super Bowls, that's how you know you got a really good organization. So I think it's just a testament to everything they put in, day in and day out, to make San Francisco who they are. That's clockwork. Drill work, clockwork, all that. So basically we just took a tour through greatness and we took a tour through everything that we're trying to do back at school. We even have legends that are from our school that have impacted this organization so greatly. And I just, I just think that's just important for us to see because when we take it back to our team, now we kind of have that path that we can follow to do some of the similar things here. Each day I just look for an emphasis of the day and that emphasis is continuing to get better in the little things because those are the little things that are gonna take me from that good to great.